Chenran. I am here with a video that you might have seen going around YouTube and it's the Filipino tag game and for those of you who didn't know I am Filipino and I wanted to play along too because this is really fun and maybe you'll get to learn a, a bit more about the Filipino culture at the same time. So I was tagged by Rana Baba um, and I was so happy that she tagged me because I was waiting for somebody to tag me. So let's go ahead and get started. I have five questions I need to answer. So number one, when was the last time you were in the Philippines? Um, sad to say I was there when I was like three years old and I'm 25 so it's been a really, really, really long time and I still remember that being there. Um, it's The only memory I have is um, my parents were trying to give me a bath and I remember that I did not want to take a bath because the bathtub was a black marble or something and I remember thinking no it's dirty it's dirty because it was black and that's the only memory I have the Philippines States. but I'm actually going next year um, next May actually of 09 so I'm really excited it's gonna be my first time reconnecting with the homeland so number two Name one Filipino dish you enjoy the most. Why? Well, I love all kinds of Filipino food. Luckily, uh, my mom cooked a lot growing up, and uh, my favorites are lumpia, which are the Filipino egg rolls. With um, I like them with the sweet and sour sauce, or like the concoction of like it's like soy sauce, vinegar, garlic powder, and um, black pepper. And I also love adobo, I love pancit, um, but most of all I like Filipino desserts and I haven't heard people mention this so I love halo halo and, and that means mix mix. So what it is, is it's a dessert and it's really not good for you at all but they take um, ice and they take ice shavings and then inside they put like condensed sweet milk so it's really really sweet and then they put um, different kind of fruits and stuff in there and um, sweet little things so they have like um, coconut like jellied coconut they have red sweet mung beans they have um, jackfruit and different um, these different sweet fruits that are candy that you can buy in like a jar so basically it's called mix mix because you have ice with condensed milk then you have all the fruits and stuff and you mix it all up and it's so good. So I like that and then I like pulveron which is, I don't know how to describe it, it's um, like a candy but it's when it's in um, its form, it's basically like powder and flour um, that's kind of molded so it's solid but if you crush it with your hand it will easily break up but it's really really sweet and it's yummy. So I'll try to put, I'll put a picture up so y'all can see but it's my fave. So, number three, name one Filipino household item that best resembles our culture. Um, I'm going to have to say, I know this has already been said before, but I will say the big fork and spoon, the wooden fork and spoon that's like this big that my parents hung on arm above our kitchen sink. And I hated that stank set of spoon and fork because my dad used to spank us with the wooden spoon. Yeah, I know, guys. It's the old school Filipino style. That, and I remember, and I know, like, it is probably an Asian thing, but in every household that I've been to that's Filipino, they always have those slippers, um, like house slippers, and it's always like on on the entrance where it's like carpet meets tile because we don't ever wear shoes in our house. Like, if you go to any Filipino house, there's gonna be like 50 million pairs of shoes on the foyer area because you're not supposed to and then you change into your slippers when you go into the tile so your feet won't get cold so that reminds me of Filipino culture a lot and then you have the rice cookers and then my parents had these horrible plastic mats that were like 10 feet long and they were like the, that plastic with the little prickly things on the bottom so they stuck in the plastic and they protect your carpet we had those in every single hallway of my house growing up so it was like kind of embarrassing when like my non-Filipino friends came over and like every time you stepped it was like make a like a suction noise from your foot. So yeah, so many things. Oh memories. Okay. So, number four. 
Do you know how to speak Tagalog? If so, say a phrase or two. Eh, no I don't. Sorry guys, I know it's bad. Um, first generation over here. My parents were born in the Philippines. I was born in Cali. And, um, I didn't realize this until this year, but I, you know, I don't speak it at all. And I really don't understand it, which is really sad. Me and my brother don't. Um, my parents speak it all the time in the house. They have conversations normally. I just tune them out because apparently growing up, I grew up in Orlando, Florida, and um, when I started elementary school, the teacher, or preschool, something, the guidance counselors told my parents that they didn't think that I should be exposed um, to um, Tagalog and to being bilingual because they thought it would confuse me. Say what? <laughs> That's such old school thinking, and I'm really, my parents are like, you really regret that? I'm like, yeah, I regret that too, that you did that. So sadly I don't speak it. I learned a couple of phrases here and there that everybody else knows who's probably not even Filipino. So, um, I'll say a couple. Mabuhay, welcome. Uh, phrase, mahal kita, I love you. I'm like valley, a Filipino valley girl though. I don't say it really good at all, so. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, number five. Do you, which part of the Philippines are you from? Uh, I'm not. My parents are, though, and my mom is from a province in the Pangasinan region, and my dad's from Manila, which everybody knows, you know, Manila, Thriller, Manila, all those, like, references to that, so, um, yeah, that's my, um, pretty much that's my, my five facts, and, um, I love being Filipino, and I represent all the time. See my shirt? It says Pinai. And that's um, Filipino girl. That's what it means or something like that. So I'm going to tag one person that I don't think has been tagged. Okay. Her name is Filipina Doll. And I truly think this girl is awesome. Like, I love her. She's freaking great. Her name is Filipina Doll. And she's the bomb at makeup, and she seems really cool. I wish she lived in Atlanta or I lived where she was because we would be friends. So that's the only Filipino person I know to tag that hasn't been tagged, I don't think. So I don't really, I mean, if you're not Filipino, go ahead and do a video too. Make a response. That's cool. But I hope you guys have fun with this little video. And um, this is my look. By the way, my makeup is my um, look from my Spice Chocolate Quad from the Cult of Ca Cult of Cherry collection, in case you're wondering. So check out that video when you have a chance. And until next time, have a great day. Ciao, fellas.